Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about variables in Azure Data Factory. When to use it and once you use it, what are the benefits you're going to get? Let's try to check it out as part of this video. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss out any of the videos that I post across in this channel related to data and analytics. Let's understand what is a variable with a simple example. Let's say I want to store the date value or what is the current date, right? Uh, date time basically in this variable. So basically variable is used to store a value. That is the whole point. What is the scope of it till the pipeline execution of the data factory? In our case, we have another variable that stores the uh, table name or the new target table name or uh, new target file name consider like that and this variable uses the first variable that is dt you can see here even you can write directly the get date i'm just trying to explain you how you can reference the another variables that is the whole point i'm trying to make here so tb name and customer plus this variable plus dot csv this is the whole point how the value of this db name will look like so if you print this variable then it will look like this print is not a recommended command or uh, you can't able to print anywhere in uh, azure data factory i suppose so basically i'm telling this variable concept from the programming perspective so now i get the new file name instead of directly putting the customer into customer target i can simulate a new file name using the variables here this is the whole point i'm trying to make here so what we are going to do today is like using a variable we will try to load two tables in a loop and the variable value will be passed into your target table creation that's what we are going to see today so before jumping into demo let's try to understand what different types of variables are allowed in data factory it allows string values boolean array of values as well as the integer these are the data types supported by a variable now this channel contains a free content that covers um, um msbi power bi fundamentals of azure and many more things related to data and analytics please utilize this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin i am into um data factory now what we are going to do here right now is we have um lookup activity that loads uh, data from one database that is from staging we have two tables here that is exchange rate and test and try to load it in our target the target is empty here so while loading it uh, i don't just need to load L let's try to run this one as such what it does right uh, then we will try to add the variable concept here so right now uh, I, while I'm testing, I use certain variables there. Forget about it. Right now, I'm trying to load two tables from my source to target with the same name. Let's try to check it out. Whether the data came in here or not. Yes, there are two tables uh, appear here in our target. You can check the data as well. It is same in the, our source so um right now instead of storing the target uh, tables with rate i just want to amend some more characters let's simply to put uh, underscore test right so go to here i can add um variable right so for that set variable then you can link this one because while it is executing if the for loop is also executed that create confusion so create some dependency here now go here and you can use the award already created variable or you can create a new variable for time uh, for your understanding i will create the new variable here 
so name should be specified I will say demo where and it should let it be string you can also pass different data types as I said before string boolean array and integer for this example we'll stick to string let's do a demo variable now um, as I said we will try to amend some text here it can be get date in our as we said in previous example right now I'm allocating uh, just a underscore test so this is the variable so uh, basically it's a hard coded value instead of this assume from your parent uh, pipeline certain values are coming as a parameter and you need to compute in your child pipelines right in those cases you can do some dynamic contents as well so i don't want to uh, uh, do anything over here just have a default value for you can also write any dynamic content now going to this for loop uh, what our intention is we need to add at the uh, instead of this direct tables from the source I in target I want to amend underscore test so let's go to our target table and start writing the concatenate option concat this is where uh, you can write uh, the options here variables close it I hope uh, it is not appearing because of the syntax error now it will start appearing variables uh, this is demo variable that's it um, is there an error concat item dot variable Uh, I think some bracket is missing yeah this is the syntax now take this copy and also I can make use of this variable see I can directly uh, put that value over here right uh, for your understanding how you can use the variable as well right that is the whole point I'm trying to convey because there are certain calculations you need to do before this for each loop then you can use this variables that is the whole point so let's try to run this now let's go and check uh, the target for time being let's see here you can see the output here underscore test is the value and you can see that is a copy data is going on let's wait for it to succeed yes there you go now we have created two more tables with the underscore test so this will also have three records similar to the exchange rate so i hope you understand the concept of variable here uh, it's very pretty straightforward there are other use cases you can um, use this variable for troubleshooting purpose as well let's try to check it out like um, um, I mean I'm not going to demonstrate let's see like if you want to see how this uh, dynamic content is generated you can use this dynamic content in your variables over here in front of this particular task let's assume in for each loop you have multiple tasks ahead but every time that uh, dynamic content is failing you no need to wait that task to be completed you just put the set variables in the beginning then you can check that value and disable this one so for every time uh, for each loop task is executing you can view that values so the, there are a lot of use cases for this uh, variable i will leave it with you for you to explore but you can use this variable for um, uh, using uh, our dynamic contents if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset